Hey guys, it's Jeff with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to install Plex on the Apple TV. The first thing you want to do is load up your Apple TV and find the IP address of the Apple TV. So let's go to settings and go to general. And then you want to go down to network. And that should show you the IP address right there. In my case, it's 10.0.1.5. So what you want to do is hop over to your Mac or PC. And then you want to type in SSH on a terminal, space root, the at sign, and then the IP address of your Apple TV, then enter. And then put in your password, which should be Alpine, unless you changed it. Now once you have that, you want to paste the following commands in. And I'm going to have this on a post on iDownload blog, so you can find it easily. Um, so check the post on iDownload blog for all the commands that you need to enter in your terminal once you are connected to your Apple TV. It's really simple. And of course I'm doing this on my Mac, but the same methodology applies to the PC as well. It's just as easy. Just paste these commands in one by one. And we're almost done here. Just a few more commands. All right. And now what we're going to do is make sure all the necessary packages are there. So you want to type or paste in the following command. And then you want to look for Bageless, Mobile Substrate, the SM Framework, and the Plex Client Plugin. I'll have a list of the, the packages that you need to search for in this list on iDownload Block as well. Just make sure you have those. Once you've verified that those are there, it should be there. You really probably don't even need to verify this step, but just in case. Then you can go ahead and paste kill all space Apple TV, just like that, enter. And then your Apple TV should reboot just like this. You should see a black screen. And in just a few seconds, it'll take maybe 10, 15 seconds, you should see it load back up right there. And now you should see Plex on your menu. So that shows that you have successfully installed Plex. Now the next thing we need to do is hop over to our computer. And now we need to install the Plex Media Center on our local computer. Now this works with OS 10. it works with Windows. Of course, I'm going to install it for OS 10. I've actually already installed it. But here's where you would go to install and download Plex right there. So once you have it downloaded, go ahead and install it and run it and you should see it starting in the menu bar of the task manager if you're on a Windows box. Then you want to go to preferences there and once you're at preferences you can rename your particular box here. So we're going to just rename, give this a friendly name. I don't know why Ronald continues to be there but all right I'll, I'll name it Jeff and then once you have it named you can go ahead and we can add a location where it needs to look for movie content. So right here, the Plex Media Manager, you should see that little plus on the bottom left hand corner. Here's where you can select your sources for all your movie content. Now once you've done that, hop back over to your Apple TV and then you want to go ahead and manage your server list because this is going to find your server running on your computer. So there it is. There's my Jeff server which hosts all my content or which will push all my content to my Apple TV. Uh, I don't really need to configure anything. It should configure itself. And then you just go to movies and then you can see all the movie content that I have. It may take a while to load up and, and aggregate all that content for you, but that is how you do it, folks. You can play it just like this. Um, it plays in ten, you know, 720p. Obviously, it won't play 1080p because the Apple TV has a limitation on that, but it will play all your content in high definition, high quality if you have it. So folks, that is how you install Plex on the Apple TV 2. I highly recommend you go over to iDownload blog, read the blog post. It has all the details that you need to install this successfully. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload blog.